Hi everybody, my name is Shauna Nani from Reimagine Your Normal. Today is day one of my 31 days of October Halloween funness. Um, and I'm putting out my Halloween stuff. This stuff actually has been out all year because of that is how I roll. Um, but I will be going through my list of 10 tags. I think it's like horror movie tags um, that I got from Lita Ferry, uh, gosh, like a month ago. Um, so here we go. So the first question is, what is the first horror movie you ever remember watching? And for me, it was Nightmare on Elm Street. Absolutely. Um, I used to watch this one all the time. I actually asked my mom uh, how I even got to this one or why I enjoyed it so much, and she wasn't sure. Um, she thought I probably started watching it around like maybe eight, nine years old. Um, and my grandma would babysit me, and she would um, let me watch this, and she would just have me tell her when to close her eyes when, <laughs> when the horrible scenes were on. Um, so yeah, Nightmare on Elm Street, definitely. Freddy Krueger got a soft spot, soft spot in my heart for sure. The next question is favorite horror movie. My friend here. Um, that is hard. Like how do you pick one that's like picking your favorite child? You can't, I don't know how people pick their favorite horror movie. Um, I have a couple of favorites. Um, Gosh, if I had to pick a favorite, um, it really depends on my mood. Um, Nightmare on Elm Street ones are always definitely good. Friday the 13th are really good. Um, the, the Japanese ones like The Grudge or um, The Ring, uh, those kinds of movies. Um, Stephen King, definitely. Uh, yeah, gosh, that's a hard one. The next question is, what genre of horror is your favorite? And it is definitely slasher flicks. Um, although, if you ask my husband, he would say B-rated movies. Like, the, the worse the movie is, the more I'll like it, which is true. There's actually a movie about a tire. I can't remember what it was called. It was on Netflix. Um, it was just this tire that was rolling through the desert, and it was killing people. And I watched the entire thing. Like, I thought it was awesome, and, like, everybody hates it. But that just shows... To me, like, I like to give that example because, like, I loved that movie. Like, I love B-rated movies. Um, I love bad horror movies. So, yeah. So the next question is, what genre scares you the most? Definitely supernatural stuff. Cemeteries? Oh, yeah. Those ones scare the crap out of me. So the next question was, who's your ultimate scream queen? And to be perfectly honest, I've never really paid much attention to the chicks. I mean enough to know that they're like the final girls like I love the final girls um but specifically like who they are like I don't I don't have a favorite one um but if I had to pick probably Heather uh Lingenkamp I think is uh Nancy in Nightmare on Elm Street just because she was the first final girl I'd ever known and she was a kick-ass one so the next question was favorite horror franchise and I'm sure by this point you can all tell it is Nightmare on Elm Street <laughs> And when they had um, Freddy vs. Jason come out in the theaters, oh my gosh, that was so exciting. Especially because it was the first time that they could show, like, birding blood, I think is what it was. Um, so that was very exciting. And the next question on the list, I think, is who is your favorite director? Um, which would hands down be Wes Craven. He is my favorite. Like, the Scream movies, when they first came out, those were amazing. Because they actually, like, pointed out all of the rules and everything that came with it and that you know it's stupid to be running up the stairs when you should be running out the front door and like Nev Campbell's um character I think it was Sydney Prescott like she did that exact thing she ran up the freaking stairs instead of out the front door so I really like that and just all of Wes Craven's movies were amazing um so he's definitely my favorite I'm actually skipping questions eight and nine because they are asking about uh who's your favorite protagonist and your favorite antagonist and I just don't get that much into horror movies to pay attention to that kind of like nerdy stuff so I'm skipping that one. The last question was what was the last movie that scared you and I have to be honest up until um The Grudge came out no movie had ever scared me before like none of them um it wasn't until The Grudge and I know a lot of people give this one a lot of sl uh, slack crap whatever um, because they're like, oh, blah, 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 like the original one, the Japanese one, I think Juan was a lot scarier, and it was, but it was the first time that there had ever been a horror movie where you couldn't get away from it. 
like getting under the covers didn't work being out in public didn't work like she was on a bus and it was still coming after her like with the, all the people around and like there was no safe place to go nothing helped it didn't matter what you did um it was gonna get you and that was the first time that that had ever happened um, at least in the movies that I had ever seen. So The Grudge is absolutely the first movie that ever scared me, and it still does to this day, like that uh, noise that um, the dead lady like makes with her voice, like that still creeps me out. So that is my horror movie stuff. I love horror, absolutely. I'm excited for the next 31 days to do horror horror, Halloween stuff, that kind of stuff. So um, if you would like to be notified when I upload a new video, um, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the little bell. Um, and if you liked this video, please thumbs up. And until next time, thank you.